Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Milk Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here, in, of course, in Old World Blues, playing as that thick Protectron Security Hub. So last time, we expanded our borders, took over more of Colorado, both the central portion as well as the west. But we do have to get to a few comments about right now. But first of all, we are going to eventually go to war, hopefully, with the Iron Alliance. I don't think we have... Oh, we need to get some more political power first before we can do that. We're rebuilding Robco right now, as well as doing some more research. But a couple comments. So... Someone recommends that I get sentry bots. Right now, all we have are support robots. And it's only, ooh, eight combat with. That is not bueno to us. Oh no, loda, no, no, no. Um, we definitely have to fix that up. We definitely need to try to get some more army XP, but that'll be something that we will be working on as we see the Legion is killing off the hang dogs. Cool, good job, or good luck, Legion. Let's get some basic tools as well. Another comment was, eventually play as the NCR? Actually, oh, new Reno has joined the NCR. When's the last time we saw new Reno join the NCR? I don't remember the last time that's actually happened. I, mm, uh, that's, that's very strange. That is very, very strange. Uh, basic weaponry. I mostly just want to use robots. I don't even want power armor in this campaign. Um, here, here's a bow. Cool. Yeah, plays the NCR. Uh, I have, like I said, like I said, the first campaign I ever played in Old World Blues was the NCR. I will play them at least twice in the future. I'm not sure when, but at least twice in the future, I guarantee you that. Uh, I also play as Kimmel Station. Actually, I have not yet to play as them ever. Akri? Asri? I will play as the Kimmel Station someday. I have no idea when. Just like the NCR, I will play as them someday. And then, uh, I asked you guys yesterday whether I should conquer the entire wasteland or not. And someone said, you should conquer the entire wasteland. Well, we'll see what happens. Mm, I like that. Checking the spam folder. Let's go with MacArthur see his command. MacArthur has been named Commander-in-Chief, and he's got some changes he'd like to uh, make. Yes. All right, let's go ahead and justify on the Iron Alliance so that we can make sure that we have a good old border here and no one attacks in the back. From Colorado. And, you know what? I, I was kind of joking about this thing. Oh, well, uh, called Fisto, which we'll get to in just a little bit. Encourage arms production. War is on the horizon, and we must try and emulate the victors of the Second World War, who triumphed using sheer industrial capacity to get four more arms workshops. So yeah, I was j joking about Fisto, and uh, yeah, if you don't know anything about Fisto, I recommend, I really recommend, looking at what Fisto is in Fallout. It is a, uh, it's a very nice machine, we'll put it like that. A very... <clears throat> Rewarding machine. Yeah. Let's go with rewarding. Yeah. That's a that's a good word to use. Rewarding. Very fun machine. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But anyways. Let's see. Actually, yeah. We're actually doing pretty well on our depths of support robots. That's not too bad. And we're led by Mac Daddy here, too. Who's just... You know... I'm not gonna lie. He's intelligent. He's recently promoted. He's American as apple pie. And, uh... I can't get over the 80% attack. Holy cow. I mean, yeah, we recently promoted him, but Jesus Christ, that's amazing. Oh, you know what? Oh, look at that. Encourage arms production. Very good. Let's go and get some of this. The robotics expert, which he probably should be. And humans for airplanes. We need to build an air force, and quickly, too, if we wish to restore America. That's MacArthur's primary goal. Let's put these humans to work. Yes. For some reason, I thought Lone Tree was, Lone Tree was a little bigger than before. We're building up some more civilian factories, which are coming along very nicely. This is looking good. We have plenty of infantry armor. Support equipment's looking pretty good, even though we probably don't need, honestly, that much of it. And you guys have Men of Iron. Well, Men of Iron can't do anything against armor. Probably. Anything here that's useful? Economics, maybe. Maybe some civilian factory stuff. Yes, no, maybe so. Magatha. Oh, you oh, cunning leader. But no, if I choose one of these traits, it does nothing. Since he is just a general. I don't think I can really make him a field marshal either. But maybe I'm wrong about that. You know what? For now, though, I'm just going to grab military theater so we get some more daily army XP again. Because I need to change these division templates. Because right now, 8 combat width. As great as it is for now, it could be so much better. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, followers spreading. That makes sense. Humans for air plants. Let's go ahead and do blood and iron. Oh wait. Oh! I should have read the focus. We actually do get a war goal for them. That's my fault. I wasted political power. But whatever. The existence of a raider gang this close to our borders is untenable. Already numerous raids have penetrated the border, and they will persist if we do not take action. 
Cool. Iron Alliance. Third Council. Uh, we get someone else as well. Iron Production. Da da da. Forgers, which is good. Go and do that. Forgers. My bad for doing uh, a war justification for Yinta, Forgers, and these guys. You know, we might just go to war with Scorpions by then. Yinta seems like it might be a problem, but actually, they have dead horses. That's not bad. You know, what? I'm going to cancel this. I wish you could get some political power back. Go and do that. Led by the Joker, huh? Yeah, we'll do this group next. Go cool. triplane attackers. I love triplane attackers. Oh, that thing can wait. Aerial warfare, why not? We'll just find these guys next. Cool. Flexible designs, nice. Grab the next one so we get enough energy. Cool. I don't. I don't like seeing our uh, war support go down. Oh, that's cool. Very good. Very good. Very good. Oh, it keeps going down. That breaks my heart every time. Why must you go down? Why? 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 And then do that. Just build them a whole lot up here. I don't want to think about it. I could increase the infrastructure, but like I just said, I really don't want to think about it. So there we go. We'll get some more military factories eventually. Hey, look at that. Already two army XP. That's really nice. Almost three. Ah, uh, blood and iron. Might as well do these as fast as we possibly can, just so that we don't have to deal with it later. And have to wait for enemies, then, which they might have, like, anti-tank, which would not be very good for us. Protocol, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, security patrols, nice, blood, and iron, very good. Mm, forgers or Yinta? I'm thinking Forgers. So, Mississippi Dreamin'. To our south lies the Arkansas tributary of the Mississippi River. While we can't physically get to America's Great River yet, controlling one of its sources is the next best thing. Let's go ahead and go to war. They probably can't be able to... Oh, did they just run out of stability? They can't, probably can't pierce us. Yeah, we're doing pretty darn well. Um, that's why I want to go to war with these people as fast as possible. Maybe we'll start coring territory down here as well. Oh, it's really not worth it, though. Colorado's really sparsely populated. Yeah, we're not really getting that much army XP at all. We haven't lost anyone yet, which is good. They've lost 600 guys, so... Not feeling too bad about that. Not gonna lie. Good. Keep it up. Still haven't lost a single person. Good. Making our guys into veterans. I love it. Good. Um, so we need a Holyoke. You know what? Let's go do this. Cool. No one yet. Marrow Drinker's rib cages. Cool. Come on, a thousand losses versus none. That is one of the best words I've ever had in terms of in terms of a casualty rate. A great wool. Oh, let's research. A truly great wool. Oh, it's really this close. We're gonna do that. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Oh, it's about two weeks left before we can uh, begin claiming some other stuff. This coffee isn't bad. I wish. I wish it was just a little warmer. A little more warm. Head position. Yeah, do unit 303. We aren't just as fast as possible. You guys. Go and redo this. So, uh, one, two. Thank you. One, two. Now, we will be fighting over a river, which is kind of not bueno for us. But you know what? It is what it is. And you know what? We might just have enough divisions to do this. Hopefully. Good, good, good. Uh, Mississippi dreaming. Expanding the Houndlands. With Buller, Bullet Eater eat, eating lead, we can expand the Houndlands territory for the east. To the edge of the known world. Beyond here, nothing lies else, at least until September. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. And does this, does this expire? No. Do you guys have penetrative power? Well, Fisto does, but not us. Three. Well, we gotta wait for these guys to get a little bit more uh, organization first. Two. Okay, why is everyone joining Vault City? Or, why is everyone joining the SCR, NCR, I mean? Hmm. Kind of questionable, not gonna lie. Kind of questionable. Go ahead and raise this up to maybe one more level for now until we get some sentry bots. 
That'll make us just stronger, period. Which is something we can always agree upon. A stronger force. Cool, cool, cool. Maybe cut those guys off. Yes, no, maybe so. See what you guys are up to or able to do. Good. Oh, look at that. An encirclement. Good job, guys. Good job. Scorpions were annexed. That's fine. Bale's reach. Cool. Oh, we've been cut off just a wee bit. Help him out. Good. The flesh is definitely weak. That's why we have Fisto here. Um, cool. Anything else? Unobstructed piloting is always nice to have. Some of this, that'd be good. Kimmel station is gone. Specialized alloys are nice. Head on over here. Let's go ahead and start doing that one, that's fine. Come on, kill these guys off. It's only one division. Good. Kill them off, kill them off, kill them off, kill them off. I mean, these guys can try to do whatever they can, but it's not really going to work very well for them. New Montrose, good. Expanding the Houndlands, awesome. Ah, across in Colorado. So the tribals of Intel have grown complacent on their side of the river. Their perceived safety will only make them more susceptible to conquest, so we must invade before someone else uh, with worse intention does. Actually, that's a really good idea. I'll do that. Good. Head on this way. There's a lot of divisions. We're holding them still right now, though. Salida, good. Five divisions gonna go bye bye. We've lost how many guys so far? We can't tell. Hmm, don't like that. Oh well. Yeah, there we go. Welcome to Army. Nice. Now that's beautiful. Oh, you guys can actually reach over there, huh? Oh, we didn't even have to get, kill them off. Beautiful. I wonder how many guys we lost, actually. Uh, how long is it gonna take for these guys? 30 more days, that's not bad. Go ahead and do it. The junction. Very nice. We've got plenty of manpower. I love it. Infantry armor's looking pretty good as well. I go go and use riders for that. Uh, support robots could be definitely better, but whatever. Any planes? Yes, please. Nice. Anything here that we know? My followers are established at school. And across Colorado, just in time. Cleaning the mountain caves. or clearing. We have easily swept through the lands of the forges. Now we must re root out any rebels hiding in the nooks and crannies of the Rockies. Uh, very much, yes. Do these guys have anything for us that we care about? Not really. Put them out of their misery as they're dealing with some stupid garbage cams. Oh, terrible. Good. So far, so good. This is still a glitch. I can't see how many casualties we've taken, which is still quite disappointing. Public projects, very nice. Grab that one next. And we'll grab some uh, construction speed after that. Could really use another guy here. If I do this again... Oh, unit 707. Yeah, we can actually promote you. You know what? Even though I don't like your recovery rate, you do get more attack and defense. Less max planning. That kind of sucks, actually. But you do use less supplies. Unit 707. Inspirational, though. I like that. Learn, learn, learn. And they've established themselves. Wow, 8% war support. That is not good. Go and do that one, though. Good. Kaisal's age declare one twin mothers. What did those twin mothers ever do to you, Kaisal? At least we're learning stuff. That's good. That's always good to learn. Ah, beautiful. When's the last time I actually puppeted puppeted an enemy nation? That is a very good question to ask. I have no idea. Three right there. 
to right here. Because I really want to bait them into attacking me. And I think that's the only way they can come in, so... Let's see what happens. This is dead horses. We need... Is it Yinta or dead horses? It is Yinta. It's this one up here. And how strong are they? Not a lot of manpower. A couple of divisions here and there. Clearing the mountain caves is very nice. Mm, forts, land doctrine, demos. Troops resent MacArthur. Huh. Reorganized command structure. The food commission develops plan. We need robotic agriculture. We need to get down to do this one too. Alright, cool. Third council. We need to do pretty much everything before we can do that. So, as much as I want to do refined military tactics, we're going to come down here and get down to here as fast as possible. Unless we need improved protectrons. No, we can wait. Cool. Begin rebuilding. Wyoming wasn't particularly developed to begin with. We must industrialize our base, and quickly too, if we wish to persist. Good. Absolutely. Hey, we're Lord of the Waste, which means we are now a major player here. We do that. We're going. To, oh, we're going to need some electricity, huh? Go. There you go. Build two at once. You know, build that one first, though. Vacuum tubes. Hmm. Economic effort. Oh, 499. We might as well do that one first. That's fine. And then we'll probably do economics expert. Economy and trade laws. Eh, maybe not. Maybe. We'll see what happens. I love these short focuses. It's just... It's so good when mod developers actually use, like, focuses that are only, like, 30 days, 35, even 56 days compared to 70 days. Oh, my goodness. Uh, local growth. We can use this one. So, using robots as overseers, we can ensure that the production remains both streamlined and effective. Well, can I bait them into attacking me now? Probably. There's quite a bit of lag, though. I wonder what happened. I'm kind of surprised they attacked that one and not this one, but okay. Just go ahead and take the attacks for now, even though we're not, like, extremely good on defense. That's okay with me. Oh, there they go. Good. And if they want to enable invade me, so be it. Oh, border disputes. They dispute the legitimacy of our border and claim that they are the rightful owner of the land. Their leader, Rushing Wadgers, has refused contact and does not appear willing to negotiate. Although these claims are clearly fraudulent, they may be able to go to war with us on this basis in the future. I mean, I don't really care. Bring it on. I literally have soldiers on the border right now, so... Bring it on, cupcake. Even though our wad rushing water cupcake. Still. More manpower. I love it. We get more resource efficiency gain. Production efficiency cap by 15% is pretty good. Research speed plus 2%, which is okay. But everything else is looking pretty solid there. Uh, ooh. Political power gain and research speed for 180 days, huh? You must be complaining about the things like, Who are you and what happened to all of our water? Ir irritating. Tell me about it. But the most irritating of all is that they claim that there's no food for them to eat. We need to develop a commission to investigate this food phenomenon further. Hmm. Okay, nice. We still need more research, though. I don't believe in this stuff. Spec Ops? Nah. That's fake news. Uh, I really didn't plan on doing it like this. I guess defending like this, but that's okay. You know. Ah, uh, ref refined construction. More hardness and armor. Good. Combat simulations? Very nice. Very nice. Even more max planning. I like that. His unit's commanding unit office, officer unit 707 is not learning too much yet. That's okay. Commander, uh, let's do it right here. Thank you. He oh, thank goodness. I was wondering when we're going to get this one unlocked. I do need more industry, though. I need way more industry. But that'll come in time. Rapid, standardized tools, very nice. Heavy lifter bots, good. Do that one on first, then do this. Mm, long boats, canoes. Long boat holes. That's what we want. Well, since we're kind of just waiting, investigate this food issue. Encourage local growth. Our lands are rural and the infrastructure is severely lacking. While clean water and prosperous trade matters little to us, our subjects might appreciate it if we ensure their comfort. Oh, well, yes, yeah, more infrastructure. I love that idea. I think that's a great idea. 
to this. Then we're probably going to grab head position. Ooh, that's not bad. Production policies. Going to grab that. So even more construction speed. Yes. Man, am I justifying on anyone? I don't think I am. Nah. Well, if Dead Horses wants to fight us, I guess we'll have to give them a fight. It only seems sort of fair. Seventy-six factories. That's quite a few factories already. That's actually really, really nice. Protection and security hub. It's looking okay as long as we can get that base to Colorado. But let's develop manufacturing. We have made good progress on industrializing our heartland, but we should consider further encouraging a healthy manufacturing sector. Yes. And I know I need more military factories. I'm just building up civilian factories just so we build, 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 build. Hopefully this doesn't last too long so we can go to war more quickly. And do well. Add it. For more. Now we need tres more. How many do we get a day? 0.91. That's not really much. There we go. Sky Reavers in 80s. Nice. Some primitive radio. Yes. Multi deck construction. Sure. Tri rooms. Yes, please. Ship is made. Admiral. Unit 900, which is. Never mind. Unit 373. It's a firefighter type of dude. Cool. Oh, it's a light cruiser, too. Yeah, these guys are killing themselves on this line here, which is kind of nice. Developed manufacturing, good, and does not have food commission thing. That's fine. Let's check the spam folder. During a routine sweep of the recently functional uh, terminal network, we discovered that the designs for the improved Protectron in the recycle bin of a lower-level engineer's terminal. If employee 207 were still alive, he'd certainly be <clears throat> terminated. Checking the spam folder. Nice. Decreases the research time of specialized alloys and security protectrons to one day. Wow. Support robots looking real nice here, man. Looking real nice. Keep that to that one mount. We're making a few drop plane attackers, which is nice. Everyone is joining the NCR. Holy cow. That is pretty nuts. Not gonna lie. That's pretty darn nuts. And even the troll warner are dead as well. Come on, guys. Sail navigations. That's cool. Mm. Mm hmm. I like them flamethrowers. Can you guys actually win over here? You might be able to, actually. If we had an air base, you might be able to as well. Check in the spam folder. Improved protectrons. Practice makes perfect, and when you focus on just creating protectrons, you get plenty of practice. We should be able to win this battle. But should is always a good word. They can't pierce us. It's quite the naval penalty. We're slowly, slowly winning. Cool. Oh, Fisto. Oh, Fisto. Cool. We're making a few heavy lift robots. Not many. Not many at all. That's okay. Nice. I'm not even going to learn too much right here. Desert Fox, Hill Spider, Military Hardware, good. More hardness, specialized alloys. Well, that did take one day, so I'm like, wow. That actually was true. That's really fast. Holy cow. Oh, yeah. Scorpion's Bites, Fox Bite. Resistance, right? Uh, I think this one's probably better, so we get some uh, more daily compliance. That's, that's pretty useful. Yeah, compliance is pretty useful, not going to lie. Once we can break over, that would be great. Come on. I can't imagine they have any manpower left. Strike through 14 divisions. Not bad. Zero manpower, 13 factories. Not bad. Not really learning too much. Improved protectrons. Awesome. Come down here and do... Ravko revisited? Sure. So, while well, it has been incredibly useful, our Ravko factory is beginning to show its age. We should prioritize expanding it further. Try reams, you say, huh? Try reams. Don't feel like making them, though. Yeah, we definitely need more uh, energy. There you go. Yeah, I'll make two of them. That's fine. Oh boy, this is going to take a while to do. That's why I want a good war down here, too. Might as well, right? Unless they can pierce us. Which would straight up be no bueno. Are you doing damage? 
That should help out. Yeah, you're doing a little bit of damage. It's actually kind of nice. You guys are definitely taking a few hits. Yeah, but they're dying over here doing like doing it like this. Kind of that simulation is great. Direct control, waste on autonomy. Could produce, produce more stuff, more organization, less cell usage, more hardness, more armor. Yeah, direct control. No, um, uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's do waste on autonomy. There go the rib breakers. Rocko revisited. We get less defense, but 5% more soft attack and heart attack. That ain't bad. Uh, spit on the idea of Robco, on the ideals of Robco, or remain true to the, our corporate spirit. Huh. Well, I don't know. Which one should we do? Remain true to our corporate spirit? Or spit on the ideals of Robco? Let me know in the comments below. Which, which one do you think is better? Huh. But let's do refined military tactics. Pure force of arms won't always win the day. While our robots are prestigious, it is prudent to make sure that we implement them properly during the battle. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, Spec Ops are literally dying over there. And General MacArthur, he, well, he looks like he's learning how to become a hills fighter, which is good. Awareness. Uh, land out attack might be better. Ah, oh, we no longer get the effects of food commission. Nice. We might have just killed some Spec Ops soldiers right here. Which is awesome. Simple circuitry, good. All right. Well, I mean, I guess can we win here without too much extra effort? They don't have. A th they don't even have a thousand manpower. Well, we could try it. Killing each other already. Not bad. Really making MacArthur work for this. Then again, our attack is insanely good. They can't pierce us. We can pierce them. Surprisingly, refined military tactics. The threat of Kai is also the rumors are true. There is a vast despotism to herself. We must show up our defenses and create military choke points along strategic locations in order to keep our borders secure. Yeah, that's going to take a while. Actually, coming down here isn't bad, so we can spread up north too. Ah, 3% more soft attack. Not bad. Cool. That was actually really fast. I love it. Even better protectrons. Ooh. We are going to need more resources and stuff like that. Mm. If we ain't got enough of this stuff, if we don't got enough juice, nothing's going to get done. Come on, guys. Keep it up. Y'all doing great. New Vegas and Dam Busters. All right. Come on, break over if we can. Somewhere along here, we're going to have to break over. Not sure where that's going to happen. There we go. We did it. Oh, Hanksville. That's cool. Cool. Head on over there. You guys come straight up to Hanksville if you can. Cut these guys off if possible. Come on. Yes. Yes. They're surrounded. Threat of Kaizal. Good. Disgruntled military. Our... No, I don't want to do that one just yet. Don't want to do that one just yet. Uh... Return of the Food Commission. The Food Commission has returned. It turns out that humans need a city source of corn, squirrel bits, and a couple of frosted sugar bombs to persist. We can provide the corn easily, though. Oh, more weak stability and monthly population. Nice stuff, my friends. Nice, we got Hanksville. These guys are all surrounded and gonna die. Which is awesome. Schooner holes, awesome. Briggs, sure, why not? And they're dead. Beautiful, I know. Did we break over yet? No, we haven't. Can't see how many men we've lost, but whatever. Go ahead and keep up and out for now. Y'all really want to keep going north, don't you? Beat him up, beat him up, because you can. Yeah, we definitely gonna need a few more robots when we're done here. Is that it? Uh, beat him up, and then maybe we can come this way. Maybe. Ah, there we go. Yinta. Yeah, that... Crossing that river is a pain in the butt.
guy, then you just kill them off then. We'll get these guys eventually. Nice. Very nice. Red Henry, thank you. Thank you. Crazy horns, huh? Military access. Navajo Nation might be worth killing off Lone Trees. Sure, why not? Lone Trees can be next. Why not? Come on, Veil Banditos. Cool. No, oh, we still haven't raised our, uh, this yet. Conscription level. Nice. We're about to get a lot, a lot of, uh, weekly stability. Good. Developing a food commission. Asserting control over Yinta? Yes. Now that we have conquered the Yinta tribe, we must begin the long road to making the territory habitable. Yes. That would be a great thing. Come on, impact resistant chassis. It's way too ahead of time for us. Go and do that one. And dead horses. It's easy to expand early game with these soldiers, just because they're not that... No one can really fight us with these guys, so... Good, keep building this up. More electricity. Good, we actually have two, wow. A whole two. Vehicles, tanks, cars, canoes. That's a pretty good one to get. Cooling systems, awesome. Get some, get some of that. Oh yeah, we definitely need quite a bit more support robots now. Infantry armor, not looking super good. Um, yeah. There you go. Keep building, keep building. This guy shouldn't be able to hold us back too much, but we obviously can't go to war just yet. Mm. Come on, we want some more core territory. More factories. More civilian factories, too. Uh, put that one up there just so that we could, we're still making at least one line of factories at all times. Oh, that's fine to do. Don't think we need water. Yeah, we don't. Nice. Nice. The question of governors. Civilizing Yinta? Yes. Yinta needs a local infrastructure network if we wish to make it productive. Very good. Infantry armor doing much better now. 91 factorinos. Never enough. Standardized blueprints. Good. Networked AI is also very good. Nice. Can only get 74 guys a month. I'm gonna war with these guys, which shouldn't be too much of a problem. Thank you. They're attacking us, we're attacking them. It's a love-hate relationship. Cool. Polyalphabetic ciphers. Frequency analysis. After them, maybe the Lord's Anointed? Yes, uh, yes, maybe, yes. We are spreading throughout the wasteland, and I love it. Oh, yeah, they're definitely dying. Oh, my goodness, dude. Did they die here? They might have all literally just died there. That'd be awesome if they did. Uh, sugar bombs. Let's do this one first. The Food Commission develops a plan. Just when we thought we were done with them, the Food Commission has returned. This time, they think they've got something special. Something mighty special. A couple brigs here and there, huh? Cool. Yeah, I could probably make more military factories. Let's throw on at least one military factory. Well, literally just one, huh? Alright, whatever. Oh, Unit 707. What'd you learn? Animal friend? Nearing imperialist? Junk rounds? Beloved leader? Oh, that's that one. That's fine. MacArthur, what do you learn? Not much else. Cool. Better radar stations. Alright, guys, you've filled your orders out. Now keep going. I love it when the enemy can't destroy our robots. It's so nice. Come on, guys, you've got this. It's easy. You know, they're not really doing too much. Cool. So, growing sugar bombs. The Food Commission has returned. Whereas we thought they disbanded after pressing the report, instead it appears that they became zealously attached to the idea of sugar bomb production. 
The issue is that no one seems to know how to make them, though. Database records indicate that it might utilize sugar cane, a tropical, tropical crop, however. Chemical tests implied that there are no natural substances found within the food whatsoever. Instead, they seem to be engineering, or engineered, using complex chemical formula. We can assume that if scientists put this much effort into creating a children's or child's cereal, it must be important. The issue is, what do we do with this information? Uh, it's the backing of the state, we must grow sugar bombs? Sugar bomb research. Or there are more pressing matters than pre-war cereal. We lose weekly manpower for that, holy cow. Focus on weapons production. So plus 5 weekly manpower, plus 5% political power. So it would be just minus 5% if minus 5 every week. Or do we do this one? Plus 5% political power gain, plus 2% research speed. So we get the research speed. Uh, we have the backing of the state. Yes, yes, they do. Aiding the Food Commission. Since we agreed to help the Food Commission with their task, it's in our best interest to expedite the process so that we do not have them tax our resources for too long. That seems like a great idea. Uh, yeah, go and do that one. It's fine for now. Cool, and we'll finish up this nation and maybe call it an episode. Oh, Lone Tree, there's very little you can do against us. Jackson is surrounded and dead. Can't see how many casualties we've taken, but that's alright. As long as we move fast enough, no one can hurt us. Cool, but that's pretty much probably where we're going to leave it for today, my friends. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. And don't forget to let me know. Should we do spit in the ideals of Robco? Should we remain true to our corporate spirit? And what should we call a potential, a potential agency name for the Protectron Security Hub? Regardless, if you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow as we expand into Utah and maybe Idaho. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.